Hi everyone, thanks for joining me. Exciting news, the much anticipated Cricut knife blade is here and it's ready to use and I've had the distinct privilege of getting to play with it for about a week or so and I am so excited about this. This is the project we're going to cut in the video and I'm also going to show you a couple of projects I cut, one with leather and one with suede. So let's jump over to design space and start there and then we'll click over to the machine. So I have a design here in Design Space all ready to go. So I'm just going to click Continue. I'm going to select my Cricut Maker. And again, this knife blade is strictly for the Cricut Maker. It's a rotary knife blade. This will not fit in the Cricut Explorer machines. So we're going to click Browse All Materials. I am cutting a 3 seconds piece of basswood. This is a 3 by 24 inch piece of basswood. I found it at Joann's. So I'm just going to type in basswood up here in the materials. And I have an option here and I'm going to choose the 1 16th basswood. And we're going to click done. And then when it pops over to the cutting window, we're going to get a notice that says, please move star wheels to the right of machine. Ensure material is no more than 11 inches wide and secured to a strong grip mat using tape on all four sides. So you want to make sure that you follow those directions and we're going to pop over to the machine here and I'm going to show you what I mean. Okay, so you can see I have a brand new strong grip mat here. This is extremely sticky and I have applied the basswood on the mat lined up where I have it in design space and I have taped on the sides of the basswood just to secure it down. Now Cricut recommends, that's what that warning sign told us, they recommend that you do tape it just to keep it from moving. When you use the rotary blade, it does take a little bit of time and you want to make sure that that stays stuck. Now these are the star wheels that it was talking about and normally these are placed throughout the bar of something like this. So all you do is grab a hold of it and just slide it all the way to the right. You're going to push all of those star wheels to the right and that's going to keep your material from getting an indentation on it. Now this is the new rotary knife blade. Isn't this exciting? I keep this little cap across the bottom. You want to keep that plastic cap on the top at all times. That's a safety feature. You're just going to insert it into your accessory clamp, just like you insert the other rotary blade. Close the clamp and you're ready to go. So I'm going to load the mat and you notice I didn't put mine all the way to the left. You don't have to, but see these star wheels? That is why you only want your material to be 11 inches wide so that that is not rolling on top of the material. If you're using something like leather, it will leave indentation. So that's why you push all those star wheels to the right. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and send this to cut and you can see it's going to load the mat and then it's going to detect the blade. It's making sure that I have the rotary knife blade in. If I did not, it would give me a warning. And now it's going to start cutting. Now one thing I wanted to show you, it's going to make an entire pass of the entire cut. Once it does that, you can see this wheel up here in the design space window and it's telling you the percentage of the cut that is finished. So that's going to continue to count down the entire time. But once it makes an, a pass of the entire image that it's going to cut, it will tell you how long it's going to take. Now this takes a while to cut. So I'm going to fast forward through this first pass and let you watch the wheel and see what happens. While we're waiting for the first pass, I'm going to give you a couple of tips. One, if you start to see debris, it looks like the blade is gunked up, you can hit the pause button. Do not eject the mat. Just hit the pause button, remove the blade, clean it off, put the blade back in, and then hit the C button again. But do not eject the mat. If you eject the mat, then it's not going to line up and you're not going to be able to finish the cut. Okay, so now here we are. You can see it's made its first pass and now Design Space is telling me that it's going to take 14 passes. We're on the second pass of 14 passes. That means it's going to cut that entire word 14 times and it's going to take about 58 minutes to cut this project. I love that it gives us this information. You know it's going to take 58 minutes so you can go off and do something else. I would check on it every now and then but for the most part you can just let it do its thing and it's going to update you and let you know how long it's remaining, how many more passes are left and that way you can keep on working and keep doing what you need to do. What you're looking at now is where we were at at 5 of 14 passes so things were looking really good already. 
you can see just how precise this is. It's busy doing its thing. I just checked on it every now and then. I wanted to give you some updated pictures as we went along the cutting of this word. I'm going to try to zoom in here so that you can really see up close just how precise this is cutting. And I'm trying to get a shot of the actual knife blade moving so that you can see it. It is really, really incredible to watch. It's very, very impressive. It's kind of hard to get a, a good angle so that you can actually, there you can see the blade just briefly. Cricut really took the time to get this rotary knife blade right. It is so impressive. They wanted to make sure that when they put this product out that it was as good as it could be and met their superior standards just like all of their products. I know a lot of us have been anxiously awaiting for it, but believe me, it's worth the wait. This is just spectacular. Okay, here is a shot at 12 passes. We still have two more to go and it's looking already like it is pretty much cut all the way through. I'm going to go ahead and let it finish and then I'm going to show you the finished product. Okay, now before you unload it, you want to check and see if it looks like it cut. Do not unload it until you check because as long as you don't unload it or move it, we can restart it if we need to. If it doesn't appear to be cut out all the way. I'm going to remove my tape a little bit. And I can tell, I can reach under here, I can tell it is cut all the way. So I can go ahead and eject. Removing my tape. And guys this is amazing get my little dots to stick this is absolutely amazing i wanted to give you an idea just how thick this basswood is and just how amazing this cut is so here are some photos some up close views. So overall I am extremely impressed. This did even better than I anticipated. I can see so many fun things we can do with this. I've also cut leather and suede and here are just a couple quick shots of some projects I made cutting the leather and suede with the Cricut Maker. This is the Cricut metallic leather that I bought at Joann's and I was able to cut it and make the pattern for this bag at the bottom of that is the Cricut leather totally cut with the rotary knife blade. This is some suede that I cut with the rotary blade. I got this suede at Joann's and with that I was able to make this cute little card coin purse. Okay, so the knife blade and drive housing is going to be available online. You can click the link below this video that helps support this channel and I really appreciate it. The knife blade and drive housing is $39.99, available at Cricut.com, and the knife blade replacement kit is $16.99. I'm sure your first question is going to be, how long does the blade last? And that really depends on your usage and what you're cutting. The more dense materials you are cutting, the faster your blade will become dull. However, I've cut the leather and this wood, and mine is still going. So... It really just depends on your usage, your personal usage, what you're cutting, what you're using it for. So I can't really give you a solid answer on how long the blade's going to last, but you guys are going to want this. Use the link below the video. I really appreciate it. If you like this video, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.